Hey everyone, I'm Nina Zeta with Sidewalker Daily, and in today's video, we are going to talk about Instagram fails. But it's not fails like funny, behind the scenes, America's Funniest Home Videos style of fails. I'm gonna be talking more about business fails and things that you may be doing that are not helping you use Instagram to its fullest potential to obviously monetize your business because that's what we are all about at Sidewalker Daily is finding different ways to monetize. So I'm gonna just jump in and share with you some of the biggest fails that I've seen so that you guys can hopefully not make these same mistakes. And remember, we work with brands on influencer marketing and we work with influencers and content creators and small business owners via one-on-one coaching. So we've seen a lot of things happen and our, you know, our joy, but also our job is to share that info with you. So take it as you will. And hopefully you guys don't make these mistakes in the future. So my first and absolute biggest Instagram fail for business would really be to post without a strategy. Who is your end person? Who is your end follower? Who are we trying to monetize from? This is the most important piece of the entire puzzle, the content that you post. Are you just posting to post? And if you are, then you're really taking it more as a hobby. Each of your posts need to be very strategic to move the bottom line, to move the needle, so to speak, to make an impact. You don't just wanna be posting things and throwing things on the wall and then not understanding why they're not doing. As a small business owner, whether you're an influencer or a creator or an entrepreneur, you need to really know your mission and you need to know who you're serving. By understanding how you're gonna monetize, it's gonna help you with so much. Think about it, if you know that you're selling digital products, then you can write captions in a way that is going to speak to that end human. If you know who your audience is truly and who you're looking to sell to and who you're looking to work with, then everything will be created and based around that. So make sure that when you're doing Instagram, And, you know, if you're doing it as a business and looking to drive sales or, you know, grow your trust, grow your email list, whatever your call to action is, that you're creating content that helps you push those messages. Now, another huge Instagram fail, and I'll just go ahead and say it, is using bad quality photos. Now, Instagram is a visual, visual place. It started off as just, you know, normal, like people, everyday people, and then it really blew up and became like this photographer's like haven. But as much as we wish that Instagram was more about the authentic side and like the real side, There's one thing is being authentic, but another thing is just not having a good quality photo, whether it's blurry or cropped wrong. If the quality isn't there, people, no matter how great your business is and no matter how, you know, how wonderful you are as a person, if you're a personal brand on Instagram, it won't matter because people don't want to follow Instagram pages that are just low in quality. Now, I don't mean it has to be super polished and the best photographer ever and crazy editing. No, I'm not saying that. I just want you guys to always understand that because Instagram is really just for photos, it's like literally what the purpose of the platform is, that there needs to be a little bit of a cohesive vision in the photos and in the content that you put because people, they like to look at nice photos. So just keep that in mind. You don't need to go above and beyond in your editing, you know, and hyper polished because we're not looking for that either. But we do want to make sure that we just don't have bad photos up there. Now, another huge Instagram fail is posting too much. I'm sure you guys have seen accounts that post a few times a day and it's just I hate to say it, but annoying and not how the platform is meant to be used. If you're posting too much content, you're not giving your audience the time to even enjoy the first thing that you posted. So make sure that you space your content out. You know, I think posting anytime from once a day is a good enough marker. I personally don't like to post two or three times a day and I wouldn't recommend that to my clients either. So just giving you the recommendations I give to my one-on-one coaching is to make sure that the posting is consistent, but spread out. So if you're going to post, I'd rather have you post once a day for like six months than five photos in one day and then never again. And then six photos in another. I mean, it just doesn't work like that. And the platform 
people don't, um, they don't want to see that type of content constantly pushed out either. Now, a huge reason so many Instagram accounts fail is because people post and then they just sit there and expect everything to kind of just come their way. If you are not engaging, you are not going to see results. It's just that simple. I always say to people, if you're using Instagram as a full on, you know, way to monetize your business, use the same mindset that if you know, if you owned a print shop or if you owned a cafe, you would have to show up to work, right? And engage with your customers all the time. Um, and if no one is showing up to your cafe, maybe you would hire someone to stand out front and try to attract the street traffic that, you know, to come in and sit down. Well, that's kind of the same mentality. If you're using, you know, your Instagram as a business tool, then you need to you need to put in effort into it. You need to engage with your community and you need to engage with other people as well. Not just the people that follow you, but other people that you want to follow you. So remember, it's what you put in is what you're going to get out of it. So a big fail on a big you know, a big thing I see is people are like, oh, I engaged with like a few accounts today. I'm like, that's not enough. That is not enough. If this is the thing that you want to focus on, then you're going to actually have to show up and put in way more effort. Another huge fail, and I guess like a missed opportunity, is having a weak Instagram bio. Now, I did a video all about Instagram bios, and I'm going to link that below for you guys. Um, but having a weak bio is just... It's just not using the real estate that was given to you to really stand out. And I say the same thing about your highlights. Everyone has a space for highlights. You guys should be using your highlights strategically. They should be, you know, showcasing what your business is all about and about you, testimonials, your services. What is it that you provide? Because you don't know how people are finding you. Maybe it's not through your website. If they land on your Instagram. You want to make it very clear what your mission is. So make sure you take time to strengthen up that bio and those highlights so that you get the right type of visibility that you're looking for. Another big fail that I see happening all the time is hashtags, using the wrong ones, having no hashtag strategy, hashtagging everything in their mom. Again, I've done two videos on hashtags so far and I'm gonna link those two below. I highly suggest you guys watch them if you're looking to learn more about hashtags, the do's and don'ts. But basically you don't wanna be putting hashtags that are not relevant to your post. You don't wanna be putting hashtags that have way too high of a search number. Like if you put the hashtag food, you're gonna get like 300 million searches and you're just not gonna get found. So if you're gonna participate in Instagram, you need to know how to do it the right way and making sure your hashtags are done with a strategy and you know with relevancy is the best place to start. So definitely check those videos out so that you can jump in and learn what you need to learn about hashtags. Another big Instagram fail is getting your followers the wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. So many people do shady techniques, bots, and I know there are bots out there because when I post a question on Instagram, um, or yeah, a question on the stories, and I see all these responses coming in that don't answer the question, they're clearly bots. And I'm like, wow, this account is using bots. Like I definitely would never recommend them for any sort of like campaign or would wanna work with them because I know they're using shady techniques. You know, um, it's not just bots. It's using people that, you know, doing, I don't know, like following people and then unfollowing them just to hit that number, just to grow that account. If you're unfollow someone because you don't like their content, that's fine. But if you're going in just to like follow hundred people, unfollow them, you know, that's just not the right mentality. Those people that follow you back probably will unfollow you too. And it's just, it, there's no longevity in that. So make sure if you're trying to grow your account, you're doing it organically, you know, through hashtags, through engagement, but not through bots and shady ways. So I hope you guys like this video on some top Instagram fails in the business workplace that I have seen. If you want to work with me or a member of my team on one-on-one -on -one coaching, I am going to leave a link below. We can work together on your Instagram strategy, whether you are an influencer, a content creator, or a small business owner that's looking to work with influencers, we do that too. So I'm going to leave a link to that. I'm also going to leave a link to group coaching because we do that as well. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.